wondered why most of the time when you cut yourself, the wound seems to automatically stop bleeding after a while. The wound seems to magically glue itself up, and in no time, you're good as new. Now, this is actually our amazing body at work, and I'd like to show you guys the mechanisms involved. Blood clotting is one of the most important and complicated physiological methods that protects our body. And there are three major things that make blood clotting possible. Namely, blood platelets, clotting factor, and fibrin. Now, let me put it in an easy way for you to understand the whole story. Imagine you're walking around in an average shopping mall, then suddenly kaboom! There's a small explosion. Some people were hurt, and all the other people were freaking out. Take this as your wound, your cut. Then you saw a security guard patrolling nearby, so you immediately asked him for help. This is similar to your wound, signaling platelets to come over. Now blood platelets always flow through your blood, and they will come when they are needed. Now the story continues. The security guard walkie-talkie his partner, and they all rushes to the scene. This is exactly what is happening in your body. The blood platelets, which are the security guards, they ask for other platelets to come over, and they gather together. This is known as platelet aggregation. But hey, an explosion just happened. A dozen of security guard is barely enough to handle the situation, right? So the security guard asked the people nearby to call for the police. The police can form a barrier to prevent the people from getting in by holding their hands and locking down the area. Now fibrin acts exactly the same. They form a strong clot by sticking them together and prevent further bleeding. Finally, when the situation is handled and settled, the crowd dismisses themselves. Just like the clot dissolved itself. So, there you go. Simple and neat. First, when you cut yourself, platelets stick to the wood. Then they will call the clot clotting factor to call up for fibrin, strengthening the clot. Last but not least, when the wound is healed, the clot dissolves itself. So, next time when you cut yourself. Try to remember these little guys that came to your rescue. Thank you.